You're about to discover what to do if all signals indicate that the wife you married doesn't desire you anymore, even though she claims she loves you. What a confusion, right? Are women crazy? How do you love a husband you don't desire? If you've asked these questions, it's little to no wonder. I also used to hear my husband tell me he loved me, but simultaneously, I felt undesired when he revealed certain behaviors. To be honest, I didn't know any better either, so I went in the easiest direction. I stacked up resentment. My name is Lola, and I am the co-author of the book, Get My Marriage Back with my husband, Ola, which you can download for free at www.getmymarriageback.com. You will also see an opportunity to book a coaching session with us. Quick housekeeping. As soon as we say anything that makes sense to you, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Without any further ado, here is my husband. This is Ola. I was on the receiving end of those resentments she mentioned earlier and it was not fun as you can probably imagine. We got married and I flipped my legs on the table and just relaxed like most new husbands. After all, we're now committed to each other for life. What else is there to worry about? So I thought and acted at least. It's called complacency and we all do it in one shape, form or the other. The truth is that I truly loved my wife and my family back then, but that didn't stop me from being complacent. Here's the first thing you should know. On the other hand of being complacent is a person you love who may be feeling undesired by you even if you don't mean to. And you know what they say about hurt people. They hurt people, right? That's right, but I didn't plan out how I was going to hurt you back. It was more so about two people who entered a whole marriage to wing things along. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't we vet properly and go through premarital counseling? Not only did we engage in some premarital counseling, we actually dated and were in a committed relationship for three years before we went to the altar. Here's what we know today after reviewing, consulting, and coaching many people in modern marriages. People that say I do don't know what they're doing because they couldn't possibly know. When you have an experienced marriage, you are in a completely different context and it is what it is. So when I complained about a few things a few times only to get undesirable responses from my husband, I continued to feel more unsafe to express myself. The resentment started to build up naturally. It is in fact true that unexpressed expectations turn into resentment. It is paramount that you give your partner freedom to express their expectations and the key is to not take those expectations personally. In the next video, we discuss how to manage expectations in your marriage because unmanaged expectations are actually worse than unexpressed expectations. We got this comment, my wife says she loves me but I don't feel it. Have you ever felt that way? After our relationship deteriorated so badly, I was still pretty much oblivious. To me, it wasn't that difficult. I just want my wife to want me and it was weird to me that she didn't get it. Before I knew it, I started creating room in my life for the idea of entertaining attention that was being deprived on the sidelines. We never stopped proclaiming our love for each other verbally, but I didn't feel it. As a man, I simply normalized it because I grew up with uncles who had and exercised options when it comes to women, married or not. Like most men, I thought about sexual attraction. I wondered why you avoided intimacy and I couldn't touch you anymore. I resented the audacity of committing and not showing up to our marriage. So of course, over time, the disconnection reflected occasionally in my energy and at one point, my wife verbally gave up on us. The main lesson. That rock bottom helped me discover the secret. A certain type of love required for all marriages is a choice. However, desire, affection, and attraction are symptoms of a certain consistent way of showing up in your marriage as a man. A typical wife has a lot on her plate and simply doesn't get to decide if they want to desire you or not. Think about it. 
In the beginning of your love affair, your wife desired you without knowing enough about you. Though it wasn't controlled, it was an attraction. So we can agree that desire in a marriage is not some logical decision. At least that's not reality. But it can absolutely be reverse engineered, especially with the history of desire that used to exist between the two of you. We know it can happen again, but it's easier said than done. With proper support, it's absolutely possible because we are a testimony. But you will have to engage your power and it's impossible when you're playing the victim. Check out the next video on the screen for more information about that. Thank you.